Hello everyone, it's been a long time I actually made an update on the birds over here so I just wanted to uh, show you guys uh, some new things I have done uh, to the cage over here some update on the birds and what's really happening so let's go have a look here so that's the male which you guys are all familiar uh, in the corner over there the redhead uh, green back so I didn't know that but uh, it turned out to be that he is actually uh, a split to blue bird so as you can see um, some of the chicks which are still clearing up and molting and that's one I have his dad over here so that's a yellow back over here double factor white chest and he's gonna be a redhead he's just clearing up right now and his dad is up there he is there um all right so back to this cage and then i know you guys remember the blue european blue male i bought and he actually bred with the female sitting in the back over there and she's just clearing up her molt right now and I actually happen to have um, a female greenback which I also did not know but she was uh, a split to blue and that's why the reason why you see some of the chicks I have they are blue and you can also see there's a dilute uh, he's also molting most of my birds are molting right now as you can see they're going through a heavy molt and uh, some of them uh, didn't make it some of the babies didn't make it as you can see that is a baby which came out maybe like three days ago or four days ago he just fleshed and let me see if I can find the baby which is okay there we go he's sitting over here so as you can see they are this baby which is on the swing over here I don't know how good the camera can see but he's actually a blue baby and the parents are both greenbacks so some of the babies they are green some of the babies they are uh, blue and they are mixed uh, also some new stuff which I did to the cage is that I added these privacy perches so there is more room for these guys to go perch and I deleted the second row of nest boxes I had because uh, at any given time only two to three pairs are breeding and the moment uh, their chicks are fledging I usually separate them and I put them in a different cage so as you can see uh, I only started with like two pairs and these all offsprings they are from those two pairs So here's another pair I have and as you can see I just paired them up. That female I had she already bred with my redhead greenback. Now I'm just putting him uh, putting her up with this male over here. He does not look too good. Uh, I don't know he's not showing any interest as of right now. But let's hope, uh, you know, I get some chicks out of that pair. And that's how the cage looks right now. Let me show you my pair of societies. So, let the camera zoom in. And there you go. That's uh, my pair of society finches. They are actually uh, sitting on a clutch of eggs. 
they already bred and I had too many societies at one point so I actually got rid of them now they have started their second clutch and let's see how many chicks come out of that and here are the canaries I sold some of them because they were way too many so as you can see I'm only left with three of them some of them are old enough and they are singing and they have cleared their second molt so they are just hanging down right now and I have my zebra female I gave the male to one of my friends he wanted to breed now I was supposed to uh, take a male from him but uh, that male actually is, uh, is sitting on a clutch of eggs right now so once he's done doing that then I think I will uh, take that male from my friend but there you go guys that's an update on all the birds on the cages there you go that's the pair of societies again Let me know what do you guys think. I did change some of the supplements, so I'm still using Nectin S. Pretty good, it's pretty good stuff. But now, instead of adding calcium in their water, I just sprinkle some on their food, and um, I think that has been uh, that has been much better for these birds. Uh, as compared to the liquid one but again they're both good so that redhead greenback basically uh, from the last time I made an update has actually raised uh, close to 24 27 chicks he did go through one molt and had I'm gonna say about five five clutches with two different females so once I just bred him with a regular greenback and then the second time uh, same I bred uh, him with uh, another greenback the only difference was that I didn't know that she was a split to blue and he was also split to blue and I did end up with some blue babies